Hello everybody, Rogue Fox here, and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Today, I'll be showing you how to create a simple drowned farm out of your zombie spawner for Bedrock Edition. The great part about creating a drowned farm from a zombie spawner in Bedrock Edition is that when the zombies convert into drown, they can still drop tridents in Nautilus shells. Now in Java Edition or 113, that is not the case. In order for drown to drop tridents or Nautilus shells, the drown have to be naturally generated and they can't come from a spawner. So if we take a look in the chest right here, you can see we have a trident right here, a couple of Nautilus shells, and then you'll notice we have quite a few pieces of armor. These were actually dropped from the zombies once they converted into drown. And then we have the shovels here, and of course some flesh and some gold. What we have here is a very standard zombie spawner setup. Now I am aware that in Bedrock Edition, a spawner has different spawning mechanics, so you don't need a 9x9 room. You can actually have a diamond pattern. But for the sake of keeping the water and everything easy, we're going to stick with a 9x9 room just like this. So how this is going to work, the water is going to flow down here. It's going to take them through this little tunnel right here and then drop them down into this area, which is three blocks down. And at head level here, they are going to have a source block of water. Now let's go ahead and spawn in some zombies to simulate this. So let's go ahead. There we go. There's four zombies. And then they're going to go down just like that. And once they get over to this side here, you can see their head is submerged in the water. These two are going to drop in. And then all we have to do is wait about 30 seconds or so, and then they'll convert into drowned. Once the zombies have been converted into drowned, all we have to do is press this button right here. And what that does is retract the water into a dispenser right behind their heads. And then we're going to use that same dispenser back there and soften them. So over here is our mob softener. So we press that button. You can see our dispenser comes forward. They are being softened. Now what we're going to do, we're going to grab a wooden sword here with looting 3 on it. And then we should be able to one-shot them. So that's all done. We just come down below. There we go. There goes 1, 2, 3, and 4. So we get their XP, and then all their drops will go down below. Another perk about this farm is that if you don't want them to turn into drown, you don't have to have them turn into drown. So all you have to do is keep the water off and let the zombies fall in, and you still have a regular zombie spawner. For the redstone, here are all the supplies you'll need to create the drowned farm. There we go, there are all the supplies that you need. Now take note, this is a dispenser, not a dropper. As always, if you want to pause the video, go ahead and do that, grab your supplies, and then we'll jump right into the build. Before we get started, let's go over our measurements for the spawner room. As I mentioned, we will be using a 9x9 area. So what we have here is two blocks above our spawner like this, and then we have our ceiling. Now, this two block gap allows us to have zombies spawn right here, so their feet can spawn right here. This gives them the height they need, so they can spawn out here and drop down. And then we also want to create our 9x9 room, so we come four blocks out from each side of the spawner, just like that. And the same goes for this side here, and then this side here as well. And then down below, what we're going to do is come down four blocks. So under the spawner, we go one, two, three, four. And then we have our floor level right down there. And there we go, those are the measurements for our spawner room. What we want to do first is place in our water sources. So after you decide which side you would like them to flow down, go ahead and grab your bucket of water. Come to the back corners here and on the second block up, place down a source of water there and then a source of water there. That's going to flow down and create this triangle pattern that you see right here. Now all we have to do is go ahead and knock these blocks out just like this. And from there what we want to do is knock out the blocks under the water sources at the edges. There we go, all the water will flow down, and from here all we do is dig three blocks back just like this, and our water is going to flow forward, and once we have that done, this is going to be the edge right here where we're going to drop them down. From here, we can place in our mob softener. So on the block we just ended on, come one block back like this, come underneath and place your sticky piston facing forward just like that. Grab your dispenser and place it facing forward so these two blocks are nice and flush. To wire up the softener, what we want to do is come back here, place a block behind the sticky piston like that. Temporary block right there, and then we want to come four blocks out just like this. Come four blocks back in, and then add one more block right there. Now what we want to do is come down and out a block just like this, and then one more so this is lined up with our dispenser here. Now get your redstone dust, place redstone dust right there. A repeater running into this block right there. Redstone dust right here along the side of this back block. Now grab your comparators, we want to place one, two, three comparators out like that. On these back blocks, go ahead and place down redstone dust. Get your comparators once again, and then bring them forward like that into the back of this block. 
So that is the redstone all wired up. And then of course, we do want our wooden button and make sure it is wooden. So we are gonna place this in a different spot, but just for now, we're gonna test it out. So we press it and there we go. We have our mob softener. Before we set up our dispenser with the water, we need to take care of the front first. So what we need to do is come two blocks under just like this. We can go ahead and knock this button out. That was temporary. And then we can run blocks all the way up just like this. Come across, run blocks up this side. We can go ahead and put our wooden button back. So go ahead and place it right there. So it's just above the redstone like that. And then we can get our stone button, place a stone button right there. And then place a stone button right here. That's going to contain the water on the inside from flowing down and out. Now, from the stone button, what we want to do is place a block just like that with redstone dust. And then go ahead and throw your bucket of water inside. And that is all set up. But of course, we do need to keep it from flowing out. So go ahead and place glass right there and come up just like this. And there we go. That is all done. So if we press this, our water is dispensed. And then it stays in place. From this point, we can go ahead and place in our collection system. So right under this block, go ahead and place two chests out in this direction like that. And then we want to replace this block with a hopper. So go ahead and remove that block and place a hopper into the top of the chest like that. And then let's go ahead and place in our floor. Now what I choose to do personally is have a slab right down here against the chest. That way I can step down and look up. Now what we also need to do is place a slab under that glass block right there to protect us from any baby zombies so they don't come out. So we can go ahead and step down like that. And then we have access to both buttons here, as well as the drowned or zombies. And of course, we do need to place in our mob stopper. So that is very easy. All we need to do is come into our stream here on this last block where the water is. Two blocks up, go ahead and knock that block out and place a piston facing forward. Grab your lever, come to the other side of the block with the piston. So right there. And that is all set up. So if we flip the lever, that's going to extend the piston. And then that's going to keep our mobs from falling down into the chamber below. Now, our drown farm is completed. We are giving this a test run. So down below, there are the drown, and you can see the zombies that drop their armor once they convert it. That's just floating around right there. And then we have the stopper keeping our zombies back up top. Now all we do, so if anything fell in, so they did drop a couple, a couple of pieces of armor in there in a shovel. So remember, to run this, all we need to do is flip the water off like that. I'm sure more armor fell in. Yep, there it is. And then we go ahead and activate our softener. Now the reason why we turn the water off first is because if we activate the softener and it pushes forward, that's going to take away our water source and it's going to be there no longer. And then there we go. So let's go ahead and grab our looting three sword. We come down below and swing away. We have eight. And let's see if we get anything good. So we have their armor. We saw that shovel. And then if we take a look down below, there is a trident and a nautilus shell. So there we go. That works. And then of course, to run this again, let's turn our water back on. And then we open up our stopper there, let them come down. And then we let the next batch of zombies convert into drowned. For those of you who want to see the drowned farm in a survival setting, this is the one I made in my survival series and the one that the tutorial is based off of. So right here, we have the same exact design. We have our water stream coming from our spawner back there. There's our mob stopper. There is our redstone. So if we actually go back here and knock this out, you can see there's our mob softener right there. We can tuck this away behind our walls to make everything look nice. And we have the redstone over here that's powering our dispenser. And then if we go into our spawner room, here we have our 9x9 room. There's our water sources, our little triangle that comes down so it all flows forward into here. And then down below, since I had been collecting in my survival series, we do have loot down below. So you can see here I do have some tridents. I have some gold armor, some gold. Nine knowledge shells, and of course some zombie flesh, and then a potato. And that's one thing to mention, zombie villagers will not convert into drown. And there you have it everyone, a simple drown farm created from a zombie spawner for bedrock edition. This is the end of our tutorial, I really hope you guys enjoyed. This has been Rogue Fox, and I'm out. I'll see you later.